A superintendent's eyes number 40. Dream, the time tuner. We're leaning against a large gray stone loft building and she says to me, would you rather be dead or go into a time tuner? I think, hand on chin, dead or time tuner? Well, dead, I guess, thinking of the cosmic possibilities or the possible cosmic loneliness of being stuck inside a time tuner. Oh, I don't know, maybe both I reconsider thinking of the W.C. Fields line, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Scene change. We're in a good-sized room where I turn on a rather large TV. The show The Prisoner is on. The episode is called The Time Tuner. Well, the prisoner wants to escape. He finds himself on a desolate street in front of the columned entrance to the underground. Subway to us. He sees seated, slumped on the steps, a young man wearing a wrinkled off-white shirt and blue dungarees, head in hands. As the prisoner approaches... The young man raises his head and, slowly rising, turns halfway toward the prisoner, but then turns again and rushes down the steps. The prisoner follows. The young man runs through a narrow archway onto the railway platform, turns left. The prisoner follows, turns right. The platform is very bright. The train is pulling in. The blue and white tiles of the platform become animated as in cartoon. The train, which is pulling in fast, also becomes animated. So does the bright light of the station. Across the top of the train window, where the destination should be, are the words, Time Tuner. The train is silver, sleek, streamlined. The doors open. The young man enters the middle door of the middle car. The prisoner enters the front door of the same. Young man sits. Prisoner stands near door that leads into next car. The doors close. Train quickly, quietly pulls out. The prisoner grasps the hand strap. There is a smattering of people on the train. All this time I, the unwilling observer in this dream, feel uneasy about the young man thinking that he is a spy for the other side and that he is leading the prisoner into a trap. An announcer comes on the address system and says in a sweet young Irish Catholic American voice, probably has dirty blonde hair, very relaxed, Welcome to the time tuner. You may think you've escaped something, death, perhaps, by coming here, but that is not necessarily so. See that old man over there? Camera focuses on a lonely old guy. He thinks he's escaped death by coming here. That woman? Camera scans to ugly, broken-toothed woman losing her unkempt hair. Killed her husband and escaped here with her lover rather than face her punishment hand to lover on the other side of the car. And at the end of the seat, the young man, spy, with no one in between him and her lover. All the people are real, though the train itself is still animated. And you see that young man over there, the announcer says? I wake up.